Hi guys, they were taking a look at an LED strip kit for a PC. So this particular one's from Light Me and details are in the description below, including purchasing links. So this LED strip kit gives a more immersive experience when using your PC as it syncs along with what's happening on the screen and replicates those colors onto the LED strip that will be stuck onto the back of your monitor. It comes in three different sizes, which I've shown on the screen. It's compatible with Windows, but not Mac OS. So I'll be setting it up, showing you the options available in there and testing it out to give you an idea what's possible with this. So let's begin by unboxing it and seeing what you get in the packaging. In the packaging, you get some instructions, which are multi-language. You get some fixtures for installing the LED. So there's two corner pieces and six straight pieces. You get a power adapter. Cable length on this is 150 centimeters. It's got a DC connection on there. And the power output is 12 volts, two amps. You get a controller box has three buttons on there, three cables coming off the end of this. This one's for connecting LEDs to, power connection point here, and a USB type A connection to connect to your PC. The length of the cable here is 144 centimeters. And finally, we have the LED strip. This is the 31 to 42 inch kit. The length of the LED on this is 260 centimeters, it's cuttable. There's a wire on the end here and the connector connects to the control box. The LED doesn't have any sort of sticky strip on the back. You'd use the fixtures that it came with to attach to a monitor. It's encased in this rubber, so build quality feels really good on here. The end of it comes off easily. So if you had to make an adjustment, and make a cut. You can see the cut points in there. Their cut points are at every five centimeter intervals. Once you've done your cut, you can just use the cover here just to cover up the end there to keep it nice and tidy. I'll be installing the LED strip kit on this 28 inch gaming monitor I have. Looking at the monitor from the back, installation wise, the LED strip doesn't cover the whole area. It just covers a U shape. So all the way around like so. Let's install the LED mounts. There's a sticky 3M sticker at the back. Peel that off and just stick it towards the corner. I'll do the same on the other side. We can now install the straight mount. So we'll put two at the top and two on either side. We can now attach the LED strip. Just clips into position. The end piece now can be cut off and you can see it quite conveniently comes in at the bottom end of the monitor. Just a matter of just cutting across here, taking the cap off on the end and just placing it on there to keep it nice and tidy. And then we can clip it into place. This is how it looks with the LED attached and you can see for yourself, it's a U shape on here. There's nothing along the bottom. Connecting this up is easy. Taking the control box, we can plug in the LEDs using the connection here. Power adapter can be plugged in here. Now powered on my PC, let me plug in the power for the LED strip kit. Goes through its initialization cycle. Let me connect the USB cable to my PC. Coming over to the LightMe website, clicking on PC strip light, scrolling down, you've got the software for the LED strip here. So downloading this, opening the installation, and let me get this installed now. Installation's completed. You can see a shortcut on the desktop that says LightMe double clicking that. It's trying to access some blocked ports. So I'll allow access to that. And there you go, that's what the software looks like. And looking at it, it looks like the colors are the wrong way around on this. So if we first of all go to settings and go for left setup, there you go, that's corrected that. So you can see the reds on the left hand side and the greens on the right hand side. Let me briefly show you around the app. So first of all over here, you've got an on off button. It's a quick way of turning it on and off. Brightness level can be changed here if you're finding it too bright. Coming below that, you've got movie, and that represents the mode it's in. It's in movie mode where anything that's represented on the screen is replicated in terms of colors around the LEDs. You've got three modes of action here, so smooth, normal, and high. High would be relevant if you're gaming and you wanted fast changes to be happening. Then you've got music. This is music mode. So any sort of music playing in the room will sync along with what's happening. And there's three options on this. So you've got spectrum, electronic and lysism. Next, we've got mood. So these are preset scenes. So this doesn't sync along with what's going on the screen. So if I click on rainbow, that's that one. Next, we've got fire. Then we've got read, firework, star. On this one, you can select different colors. Then you've got drip, 
particle flow ball swing breathe and pure if you flip it back to movie that's probably the main one you want to work with as it syncs along with what's happening on the screen then we've got setting you've already seen this briefly you can change the mode quite easily depending on which way around you install the led strip below that you've got device so you can have multiple devices connected to a computer then you've got screen if you had multiple screens you can select which one you're working off and then language next we've got interconnect and this is where other devices can sync along with the led strip this product is pretty new so not aware of any other device that can work with it then you've got update check this will check for updates to the software auto start it'll automatically start when the pc is turned on and auto off it'll automatically shut down once your pc is turned off so the leds will all turn off then you've got about some details about the product there and that's it that's all the options you have available now in terms of general usage if i just even bring up a website it works pretty well it just moves along according to what's happening on the screen so if i go over to youtube for instance open up one of my videos and as you can see with anything moving along the screen it will try to replicate the colors around the edge to give a more immersive effect to your whole viewing experience and it's quite nice having it as it sort of reduces eye strain it's good to have some ambient lighting in the background and it's pretty cool that it ties to work in coordination with the colors going on so this is similar to the neo box but obviously this is specifically for a pc you wouldn't use this product on a TV, for instance, because it does require a computer to work in conjunction with it. Coming around the back of the monitor, we've got the control box here. Power obviously turns it off, turns it back on again. Then you've got color selection. You can flip between the different colors. And then finally, you've got the scenes option. You can alternate between the different scenes on here. So I like it when they have control boxes with these devices so you don't have to rely on the PC. You can quickly change things if you wanted to. For the LEDs to work, you have to have the software running. Now, if I turned off the software, opened up a web browser, you can see none of the colors changed. If I minimize it again, start up the software. And now if I open the web browser, you can see the colors changing. So it is reliant on the software continuously running. Now, if you're wondering how it changes colors, I've got my notepad document open here. You can see it's all white. As I come into the edge, nothing's changing. And literally when I hit the edge, then it changes color. So anything in terms of color hitting the edges, it'll change accordingly to that. If you're wondering on the brightness levels of the LEDs, they seem pretty good. I'm not sure if the camera's giving it full justice it deserves, but brightness levels are good in a darkened room. Now, if I turn the lights on in the room, you can see, you can still see some of the LEDs going around. It's a little bit washed out, obviously, because of all the light coming in, but still color representation is good on there. The wall behind the monitor is painted white, and that's the best to have. If you had a darker color on there, obviously that will affect the colors you're seeing. And let's turn the lights off again. And you can see for yourself, accuracy seems pretty good on there, and color representation looks really good. Let's test this out. I've got a color wheel playing on my PC and looks pretty good. It's a shame the bottom area isn't covered, but works well regardless. Moving on to playing some video clips. It looks good with the colors transitioning with what's happening on the screen, but it would have been nice if there was a saturation control to increase saturation levels. But nonetheless, the LEDs are working well and keeping up with the changes happening on the screen. I'll let this play out so you can see more for yourself. Onto gaming now, and this is really cool with the colors transitioning to what's going on and gives a good immersive experience. Again, the color saturation isn't that high and it would have been good to have the ability to allow you to increase that, but it works well regardless. And I'll let this play through for a bit so you can see more of what to expect.
There's no limit on the number of monitors supported. You can see here, my setup has three monitors and all three have been picked up by the software. And you just install an LED kit on each monitor. But if you had your monitors side by side, there's a way you can use a single LED kit. And this is possible if your graphics card has a surround spanning option for your monitors. So you just enable this and this makes your computer think the two monitors are actually one and the software then thinks there's one large monitor and this works perfectly. For me, the only slight disadvantage is that by enabling this, my graphics card won't allow me to enable my third monitor at the side. So in summary, really impressed with this LED kit from LightMe for a PC. Positives wise, very easy to install and get the software up and running on your PC. Brightness levels are good on there and color representation and accuracy is very good. Enhances the experience of using your computer as it's far more advanced than a standard LED kit. Negatives wise, it's a shame they don't cover the lower area of the monitor. That would have been nice to have on there. It doesn't work on a Mac. It's a shame there's no way of controlling the saturation levels. Would have been nice to be able to increase that if you wanted to. Other than that, it's a great product and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. If you're new to the channel, I hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting that bell icon to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.